This video shows the DX Engineering coaxial cable prep tools that are specially designed for crimp on type connectors, being used on DXE 400 Max and LMR 400 style coaxial cable. The complete DXE UT Kit CC1 comes with all the tools you need to prepare coaxial cable for crimp style connectors for both RG213 and RG8X sized cable. In this video, we'll prepare DXE 400 Max for a crimp connector. Using the CNL911, make a clean cut on the cable. Then use the CNL911 to round out the coax cable so that you will get even prep cuts. Insert the cable in the coax gripper. The gripper helps you hold the coax. Open the DXE UT405C P1 tool, which is used for this style coax. Be careful to keep your fingers away from the blades. They are sharp. While squeezing both the cable gripper and the cutting tool, rotate the tool completely around the coax. Three blades inside the tool need to make their cuts. Open the tool and turn it around. Insert the cable into the side that has one blade for slitting the coax. While gripping the coax and the cutting tool, pull the tool off straight away to make the slit cut. Remove any lingering braid using the braid trimmers. Remove the end piece of the coax cable center insulator. Sometimes you may have to bend it slightly if the center insulation is tight to the center strands of the coax. Twisting also helps. Remove the last piece of the outside jacket. If the coax center foil is bonded to the center insulation, trim the center foil at about a 45 degree angle. Slide the PL259 ferrule over the coax. Keeping the coax cable straight, push the PL259 in place. Sometimes giving the center conductor a slight twist helps the center strands to fit easier. The PL259 slides under the braid. The PL259 is now ready to be crimped and have the center pin soldered. Coaxial cables using a foil shield come in two varieties. The center foil may or may not be bonded to the center insulation. For the ones that are not bonded, use a sharp knife to slit the foil and peel it off. For coax that has bonded foil, just trim the end at a slight angle to ensure no foil is accidentally connected to the center strands. Slide the PL259 in place under the braid. Slide the PL259 ferrule in place. You are now ready to crimp the ferrule and solder the center pin. You can find out more information about the DX Engineering coaxial cable prep tools on the DX Engineering website.
DX Engineering, your source for quality amateur radio products. Visit us on the web at dxengineering.com.